Hello everyone, uh, this is Jay Prakash. Welcome to my YouTube channel Big Data Hands On Training. Uh, today we are going to see about what is Flume and uh, we will do a basic exercise on Apache Flume. So, what is uh, Apache Flume? Apache Flume is a distributed, reliable, and available system for efficiently collecting, aggregating, and moving large amounts of log data from many different sources to a centralized data store. The use of Apache Flume is not only restricted to log data aggregation, since data sources are customizable, Flume can be used to transport to massive quantities of event data including but not limited to network traffic data, social media generated data, email messages and pretty much any data sources possible. Apache Source is a top level project at the Apache Software Foundation. So we need to understand uh, what is uh, what is a Flume agent. So you do have your developer documentation. So just go and uh, have some basic idea about what is a Flume agent. It has a source, a channel, and a sync. So these three are the important uh, uh, parts of a Flume agent. So the source is being used to connect your various data sources in web servers and uh, whatever you, you can call your all all your streaming data sources. Sync can be HDFS or mostly it is HDFS because we always want to get our data into HDFS and do our analytics on top of the web log data. And channel has been the intermediary layer between source and sync. So just go through the tutorial and uh, understand about what is Flume's architecture? So we'll move on to a hands-on exercise. So I created a Flume agent. So in Cloudera desktop and Jayprakash, I do have a Flume conf. So this is the configuration file, and I created an agent. So A1 is the agent name, and the sources is R1. R1 is being my source. I'm just uh, giving an alias to my source, and K1 is the alias for my sync, and C1 is my alias for channel. So this is how the syntax looks: a1.sources.r1.type. It's a netcat. So my source is going to be a netcat server, and I'm uh, binding it to my local host, and uh, my port is 44446. You can have anything as your port number. So whatever you are using here you should uh, use to invoke your netcat server and my sync is going to be the logger logger sync and i'm using my channel as memory channel so uh, you can use your file also as your channel in my case i'm using it as memory so these are all the configuration properties what what is the capacity of your channel and the transaction capacity of your channel and at last you need to bind your source and sync to the channel so you can go to the manual and understand each and everything about what what are all the parameters of the channel and parameters of the source and there are a lot of stuff but i'm not able um, i'm not uh, i i cannot cover all those things in the short video so i'm i'm mostly focused on giving hands on so documentation covers only the theory part and it doesn't have any kind of uh, hands-on so I'm I'm trying to cover the hands-on part of it so let's invoke this flume conf so this is my syntax to invoke my flume configuration agent so this is syntax flume ng agent minus n for executing and uh, a1 is my agent name and uh, minus c conf and this is my uh, configuration file so you have to execute from where your configuration file is being present in my case it is jprakash folder or else it may throw an error so before that let me go and make it as 47 and save it because i already executed that and let me execute it it's going to start your netcat server So your netcat server has started. So open another terminal and uh, 
you can invoke give a telnet localhost four 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 seven is the port name so you are uh, trying to connect your uh, 44447 server using telnet so here whatever you can type the world so whatever you type in that's going to be streamed over here and you get as your logger sync output so this is how um, you can connect to any t uh, any data source streaming data into your hdfs so in our case it is just a logger but you can connect to any sync maybe you, you can even connect your hdfs and you can get as your output data so this is what is the purpose of uh, flow whatever the streaming data you can uh, log you can get those data into your uh, uh, hdfs or whatever your data sync so thank you so much for watching my uh, video and if you like please uh, click like uh, please share it to your friends and put some comments and most importantly please subscribe Thank you so much. We can see some other uh, video in my next um, video. Thank you so much.